GPT will now do everything from finding your ideal clients to researching them to crafting a custom message for each person. Plus, it'll even help you create slides that'll convince that person to send you money. Look, I'm not gonna cover how to use GPT to summarize your emails or calendars, but how to actually make money. This thing is so powerful. I found businesses with terrible websites, terrible Google listing profiles, and zero online presence in minutes. And then I had GPT write custom messages that we can send. And by the end of the video, you'll have six of the best ways that you can use this to make money, whether you already have a business or you're a complete beginner. So this is what most people are missing. If you head over to GPT, what you're going to do is select agent mode right here. Now, I also suggest that you log in to your Gmail so it has access to your Google Sheets and so forth. Then I'm going to give it this task. Find 20 plumbers in in Nashville that have a website, get their contact info, email, and phone. If you can't get it, skip it. Look for businesses that do have it. So again, if you're selling just websites, then maybe you wanted to find people that have a lot of reviews. You wanted to find people that have their emails publicly that don't have websites. And now you can reach out to them. Then I said, put it all into a Google sheet, do this efficiently. Now we're going to hit search. And what GPT agent mode does is it has its own window where it can do research for you. So as you can see, it is going through the internet. It's going through multiple tabs. It's clicking on different websites. It's extracting emails. It's looking for different pain points. It's looking for the information that we need. It'll take it, compile it, and give it to us. And if you're not seeing this inside your GPT account, it's because you need to upgrade your accounts around $20 a month. But I think it's well, well worth it. Since if you were to hire an employee or hire someone on Fiverr, it'd be way more expensive. Here's what I used to do. I used to do this on Fiverr where I would would tell these people to go out and find these different businesses, confirm their emails, find their LinkedIn. And now we can do all of this inside here. So once it generates this list, I can also tell it to, hey, go find cell phones of these people. Hey, go and find the LinkedIn profiles, the Instagram profiles. So for this example, I want people that already have some kind of online presence. This roughly can take about 10 minutes. All right, so I saved you the waiting time. Now, unfortunately, GPT was not able to log in to my Gmail that I linked up here under sources. So I told it just to give me an Excel file. It gave me that. So I took the leads and I copied and pasted them inside of this spreadsheet. So now we have 20 businesses with their emails all inside here. Now, this is where it gets exciting. This is the second thing that I want you to do. Paste in a message like this. You can pause this video, copy and paste mine, research each of these businesses online, find specific details about their services, reviews, any obvious problems with their online presence, write cold emails for each one of them. And then I gave it some context on I run an AI agency that helps these local businesses set up AI chatbots, help them book more appointments. And we can also build AI websites for them that solve the issue you found on the existing website. You don't need to pitch all these services, just find a pain point and pitch one improvement. Then it went in, it did its due diligence, it did its research, and it gave me messages that I can copy and paste for each and every one of these businesses. So let's take a look at this one right here. It's 615 Plumbing. This company advertises 24 seven dispatch, but relies on phone and email. There's no tool to handle overflow calls. So that is the pain point that it found. Hey, six. One five plumbing team. I see you dispatch technicians. That's great. Challenges. You still miss calls when lines are busy or after hours. We already built an AI voice receptionist for 615 plumbing that answers unanswered calls, collects the job details, and even books appointments for you automatically. It's ready whenever you are. Want to try it for free? Just reply. Yes. So if you're wondering, Hey, how did you build this AI bot already? The answer is we have not. All I want to do is to get this person to see my email, think I built them something and just respond yes. Because what we're going to be do is we have a live demo for this industry, for this niche, for plumbers. So now when they jump on a call with me, I can run them through our live demo, our live AI employee or agent that I can show them and they can test. And you can preface that by saying, hey, this isn't perfect, but this is the start. Once we onboard you, we can take your hours, we can take your exact services, and we can implement it into this AI employee. And the best part is this AI will research and give you different things that you can say for each business, whether it's reviews, or your booking link is broken on your website, or on this website, it found, hey, this site outlines many services, but some sections still contain this placeholder lorem ipsum filter text. So 
It essentially has filter text that the web designer did not change, did not remove. So we can go in and literally say that right there in the outreach message. Think about how crazy this is. Now, look, I chose plumbers as my example because they are very easy to find. But if you don't know what niche, what industry to go after, you can also use this agent mode to help you find industries, to help you find untapped markets. Let me show you. And this is the third strategies. I typed in research the home services market in Nashville. Find which niches have the least competition online and the highest demand. Give me specific business types and explain why they're underserved. Make it fast. This loaded for about five minutes. So to save you the time, I'm going to give you the end result. So I found eco-friendly drought resistant landscaping. So this is super, super niche. I've actually never even heard of that. And I've had landscaping clients solar panel installation, smart home automation, mold remediation, vacation rental. Okay, that's interesting. So some of these we can't really do too much with. However, solar panel, this could be good. Smart home automation, this one is really good. Mold remediation is really good as well. I've actually had clients in both of these spaces and both were paying thousands of dollars per month. If you go in and you look at average price of a mold remediation job or project, it's going to be thousands of dollars. And you can see that here, mold remediation average cost is going to be between $500 for something very, very small, but could be over 30,000 if it's a whole property. So 500 to a thousand, right? 1000 to 10,000. Really, it goes on and on. It depends on the project. But my clients that we had, they were charging two, three, four, five thousand dollars $5,000 on average. Now, if you look at smart home automation, this one could also work mid range services between three to $15,000. So GPT found these industries. And it says that in this location, inside Nashville, there is a big need for that. So guess what? it's going to be very easy to help these businesses. And because they're not the normal like roofing companies, your competition is going to be way lower. Now, let's say you are selling something like SEO and you want to do different site audits. Again, you can do this with AI as well and tell this bot to give you an AI audit of this person's business. But I typed in, give me a full SEO audit on the top five mold remediation companies in Nashville. I want to know if they're doing H1, H2 tags incorrectly, or if they have other optimization issues on their website. Tell me what gaps I could fill. And then I hit run. And as you can see, the agent live right now is going through clicking on the different websites and analyzing those websites. And then we will have a full on report on what we can tell these people. Not only can we say this in the sales presentation, but also on our outreach messages. Now, because this stuff does take time, sometimes 5, 10, 15 minutes, I started another chat and I said, analyze this website. It was one from the sheet, create a five to 10 slide pitch deck showing specific problems with their current online presence and how our AI automation services would increase their bookings by 15 to 30%. Each slide should have an exact pain point, their experiences, the solution should be towards the end of the slides. Creating these sales slides is method number five on how you can use the AI agent. And then of course, method number four is doing the SEO audits and doing in-depth website analysis. But now it created me this slide deck. Now look, I'll be honest with you. Is this the best slide deck I've ever seen? No, of course not. However, what you can do is have one template like we give inside of our community that's already proven. It's it's how I've made hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars by using this one slide deck. And you can just create extra slides. You can take some of this content, copy and paste it into your slide deck for this client. But essentially, it gives those pain points. So as you can see, social proof is key. Customers praise Donaldson Air, which is the name of the business on third party sites, but positive reviews are buried or absent on your own website. And again, when you're presenting this, you can even have their website open and then show them live no self-service booking. 85% of modern consumers prefer to book services online. But guess what, Mr. Donaldson, you have none of that. You have a freaking basic contact form. And by the way, I filled out that contact form and no one responded to me until two days later. That is something you can do and tell them on that sales call.
Missed calls after hours mean lost revenue and also frustrated customers. So as you can see, we have all these different slides here that you can take copy and paste into a website that you designed to make it look much prettier. Here's an SEO issue. Okay, so makes pages slow to load. Key content may not be visible to search engines, which also hurts your rankings. So this is certainly a very, very good start. And now you can enter your meeting with this business with an educated mind. You can have some basis of information. And we've been doing this for what? 10, 15 minutes, and we have all this detail. We know everything. Now, look, this blew my mind because this used to take me so much time back when I was living in my mom's basement and I literally had to do my due diligence and do my research and I would have to sit there and verify information and I would have to put this all together and type this out before, but now you can copy and paste the entire thing no matter what it is that you are selling, whether it's SEO, whether it's AI websites, whether it's appointment booking bots or live chats. Again, and you can pull up stats and tell GPT to say, hey, show me exact website stats on people that use the appointment booking live chat right on a website and the people that don't. How many more conversations do they start? How many more appointments on average statistically do they get? And now you can present a compelling offer to these potential clients that you are speaking to. So is this a full end-to-end -end process? How it's going to give you proven sales slides and now you need to do nothing and be lazy? No, but this is an amazing foundation and place for you to start when you're actually speaking to these clients. Now, look, before we go into the sixth step, what you need to understand is these businesses do not care about your technical skills. So if you go too far in depth into the SEO meta tags and H1 tags, or you go too into AI and how you are a prompt engineer, they will hang up on you. They do not care. All they care about is results. Show them stats on how they're going to make more money. If you have existing clients, show them your clients and just show them how it freaking works because they don't care about how you set it up or what tools you use. They only care about one thing. Does it make them more money? Does it book them more appointments? Does it lead to more sales? Yes or no? So even though you're company could just be you. You could be a one person business. Maybe you have a virtual assistant, but now it can look like you have a team of analysts. It can look like you have a team of copywriters, of media professionals, of marketing professionals on your side. Now, what is method number six? Honestly, this is where most people completely mess up because they build these AI agents, they deliver for clients, but the clients don't actually know how well it's working. Here's an example. We added a live chat to a client's website and we had a person live type in this message. Again, this is a real lead, so I will have to blur a lot of this information. They said, interested in getting a quote on a remodel, I have kitchen and bathroom remodeling clients looking to have a fiberglass bath shower combo removed. Then they gave us some details, but over here, this is the AI response. Hey there, we're definitely interested. Let's schedule a consultation. And then this is what the person said tomorrow or Monday works. Boom, the AI read that person's calendar. And then we said Monday 10 a.m. works. So the AI went through, booked the appointment, collected all the details, updated the contacts tab, and then we booked that appointment. And then we even confirmed that appointment. So we use AI to automatically respond to reviews. We also use AI voice to automatically redirect callers from leaving a voicemail to the AI. So now the AI can book a real appointment versus them leaving a voicemail. But a lot of times, if you're not sending good reports, the clients have no idea what's going on. So what we'll do is we'll take screenshots of the different metrics that we have here inside of gofreetrial.com. This is the software that we use. We've completely white labeled it with our logo at the top. And we just feed that to the AI. Hey, this month or this past two week period, this is the live chat. It got this many applications. Oh, it got this many appointments. Oh, this AI voice, it booked you this many meetings. Oh, your Google reviews, you got 26 new Google reviews over the past two weeks. This is exactly what we said to those reviews. So essentially what we'll do is I will have an assistant go in and just take screenshots of all those things and we will feed it into the AI and we will have the AI agent go through and compile a report with those screenshots and with those images that now we can present or send or just show that client 
every couple of weeks so they can see the value. Of course, they know that it's working in the background because they have their own logins right here. Now, again, I mean, I have to blur all this information, but as you can see, we have tons and tons of conversations. So clients are too busy to go through and look at every single one. But even if someone doesn't respond, let's say they reached out, they filled out a contact form on that person's website, the AI will respond to them three days later. Hey, John, it's been a few days since we last talked. Are you still interested in plumbing services and roofing services? in anything else. So now they have that report on how we are literally trying to book them more appointments every single day. If you want everything imported into your account and just copy and paste everything that we've built with a click, you can now do that. It's working like crazy, not just for me, but we've proven that this works for people with all kinds of experience levels and backgrounds. In fact, Go High Level themselves rated us the number one course because of the results that we get for people and the support that we give. I'm going to show you A to Z how to get clients, deliver results, grow your business, and then even hire employees to run it all for you. I'll even talk to you on Zoom and answer questions to make sure that you succeed. If you want all this for free, go to laptopceo.com or check the link in the description. And so now when you send them these detailed reports, the clients truly see your value. But make sure that you remember that the key, key thing here is to show them how you are adding revenue to them their business. That is all that they really care about. Let's check if that SEO audit finished. It did. So it worked for 14 minutes. And this is what it gave me heading and on page SEO analysis, identified gaps and recommendations. So this person is a mold guy. He does mold removal. However, the H1 tag says we're the mold guys, right? So it's not really optimized for SEO. And again, this is all data you can copy and paste into your slides or into your outreach messages. So this is just a few of the different ways that we are using GPT agent mode. If you want to watch me get clients live and you want to know more about our system on how we deliver results, you can check out this video next.